Hello, I'm on a Facts of Mars, and this story is about as funny as they get as far as uh, mad science stories. So grab a cup of coffee and make sure you uh, put this on hold in between sips because we're going to laugh and have fun. That's all these people deserve is to be ridiculed, basically. So sit down and enjoy, enjoy the show. <laughs> Researchers have discovered the earliest known ancestor of humans, along with a vast range of other species. Really? This is what they're saying is your great, 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 whatever, grandpappy. They're insane. The microscopic sea animal is the earliest known step on the evolutionary path that led to fish and eventually humans. Unbelievable. Details of the discovery from central China appear in Nature Journal. A research team says that Sekar uh, that's not going to happen. This is the most primitive example of a category of animals called deuterostomes, who, which are common ancestors of a broad, ra broad range of species, including vertebrates or backboned animals. S was about a millimeter <laughs> in length and size, and it's thought to have lived between Grains of sand on the seabed. And they're saying that this is your great, 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 whatever, grandpappy. Your grandmother. Who knows? Here's Fossil Rock, and they just arbitrarily are saying this is your ancient ancestor. Unbelievable. We're dealing with fantasy here, folks. Uh, uh, these are people who should be in a nut house. <sighs> Researchers were unable to find any anim evidence that the animal had a, an anus, which suggests it consumed food and excreted it from the same orifice. Ew. The study was carried out uh, by an international team of researchers from the UK, China, and Germany. Among them was Professor Simon Conway Morris from the University of Cambridge. Cambridge again. Wow. He told BBC News the naked eye fossils were studied. We studied look like tiny black grains. But under the microscope level detail was jaw dropping. Yeah, my jaw's dropping all right out of uh, boredom. We think that this was as early deuterostomes. This may represent the primitive beginnings of a very diverse range of species, including ourselves. Oh boy. I hope these people don't actually believe their own shit. All deuterostomes had a common ancestor, and we think that. This is what we are looking at here. Dagan Shu from Northwest University in Xi'an, Shanghai, Shanxi pro pro Province, where the fossils were found, said, S now gives us remarkable insights in the very first stages of the evolution of a group that led the fish ultimately to us. Unbelievable. Some little piece of fucking plankton. <laughs> Come on, people! I uh, please don't take these people seriously. Until now, the Durosome groups discovered were from 510 to 520 million years ago. These had already begun to diversify into not only 
vertebrates, the group which we and our ancestors belong in animals such as starfish and sea urchins. Because they look so different from one another, it's difficult for the scientists to determine what an earlier common ancestor might have looked like. Uh, why don't you send your scientists go into the local nut house and you'll find plenty of examples. Or just look yourselves in the mirror. <laughs> The study suggests that the body was symmetrical, which is characteristic inherited by many of its evolutionary descendants, including humans. S was also covered with thin, relatively flexible skin and muscles, leading the researchers to conclude that it moved by contracting its muscles and got around by wriggling. So, some sort of water flea or something. I get it. Researchers say that this is the most striking, feature, most striking feature is its large mouth relative to the rest of the body. Sounds like a Chicago politician. They say that probably ate by engulfing food particles or even other creatures. Well, how do you think it ate? Gee whiz, I could have told you that. Also interesting is the chemical structures on its body. These scientists suggest may have allowed the water that swallowed to escape and may have been a very originally version of gills. A oh, brother. You see, if an ordinary person said this kind of thing, they might be put into a mental institution if they get milk in the bonnet. So these people can get away with saying this silliness, and because they're scientists. Look at this. Does that actually look like you know, your great 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 whatever ancestor? Come on, people. This is irrational. <laughs> but it's funny. I told you, we have Trump administrations in power. These people are out of power, and they're getting kookier by the minute. And it does make some, for some pretty funny mad science stories. If you believe this crap, you'd believe anything. <laughs> yeah! That's our great, 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 whatever ancestor. Oh my god. The lunatics are out in full force. I'm out of artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,